Hey, after watching this tutorial you'll be able to quickly make stuff like this, so let's dive in. Now get rid of your default cube and add a text. Edit it to something you like. And now what we're gonna do is convert it to, to curve and get rid of the filling by going to curve settings and fill mode setting it to no now let's convert it to mesh and to dive into edit mode that's what we have now we want to align them on the same level and we want to get rid of the bottom edges because we want to make it a single edge so let's connect them with F and we have a outline of the text we want now probably we might want to we might want to connect them in a single loop and And this is what we have better laid off. So let's okay. Now convert it back to curve and add a bevel extrusion, a bevel depth, and this is what we have. Perfect. Now let's set it to smooth shading. and go to shader editor so I add another window here that we are, in which we are going to watch what we are doing and this one I'll switch to shader editor I'll select the curve, add a new material to it and set the shader to mischief ok, we are done with this one now let's go to rendered mode and get rid of all these unnecessary gizmos and select outline selection outline now we want to add a texture coordinate node which is an in input texture coordinate and we want to use the UVs that this curve output creates so that separate X, Y, Z and X of the UVs is going to go along our curve di direction so let's let's check this by using our um, wave texture and we'll see yeah We'll see what uh, how our waves are going along our curve. So let's now switch wave types to so and and use this color as an emission strength as well instead of color I mean and we want to multiply it by some value and add bloom so let's go to our scene settings and add bloom and yeah that's, that's it let's decrease the emission strength And let's also configure blue. So yeah, we want to decrease the amount of blue towards the uh, black area. So we want to add it, uh, raise it to a certain power, like for example, eight or six. Let's try this. Yeah, be 
this works now let's add a add node and this is what we are going to do we are going to switch direction first so no I have a there idea we have to set it to negative and this way it is going to go to the right direction and we want to scale it down so let's set it to something like 2 or maybe even 1.5 and we get a perfect animation which is which is going to loop And this is the point where it doesn't loop, so maybe we can configure the scale a bit so that it loops. Let's try this. A bit better. Yeah. So you by configuring the scale you can make it loop. And let's add a mix shader we are going to mix it with a transparent shader so basic setup here transparent versus emission with mix shader we plug in the power the output of the power node and we get what we want uh, before you do that make sure you have blend mode set to alpha blend and we are done by animating this value we can get a nice looking animation and by configuring scale we can make it loop and finally and finally this power will configure how much uh, this uh, line will fade out towards the end and we are done